Welcome to Papa Ty's Children's Church. Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter. Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter thinks Anna looks very brave in her stormtrooper helmet. Chitter, 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 chitter. Oh, one of Chitter's favorite things about the Bible, chitter, 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 is all the brave people in it. Well, like, like who, Chitter? Who are you thinking of who's brave? Chitter, 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 chitter. Oh, David was very brave when he fought against the giant Goliath. That, that's a good example. Porky, can you think of somebody in the Bible who was really brave? Mm, pork, pork, pork. Oh, Porky was thinking of Joshua and the Israelites when they marched around Jericho. Oh, yeah, they were very brave. They marched and marched and did just what mm -hmm. Jesus said. And they weren't afraid. Mm -hmm. Right? How about you, Garrett? Can you think of somebody in the Bible who was brave? Gong, 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 gong. Jesus, of course. Yes, Jesus was definitely very brave, especially when he went to die for us, like the story on Easter. He was very brave. But Chitter, there there are people in the Bible who were not brave. Chitter, 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 Chitter. Like, remember our story two weeks ago when the disciples were in the boat and there was a big storm and they got very scared? Chitter, 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 Chitter. Yeah, they got very scared. They forgot Jesus was right there with them. They forgot to keep their eyes on him. And we've got a person in our story today who is not going to be brave either because he's going to forget that Jesus is right there to help him. It's, it's hard to be brave when we forget Jesus is there, but easier when we do. Our memory verse is about that a little bit. Porky, can you tell us our memory verse? Pork, 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 porky. Can you translate, Isaac? <laughs> oh, yes. um, porky said... We walk by faith, by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians five seven. Hmm. We walk by faith, not by sight. That means keeping our eyes on Jesus is more important even than watching where we're going. Like, hmm. Like last week, Jesus said that I am the bread of life because knowing Jesus was more important than having plenty of food. And when he healed the blind men, he said, I am the light of the world, because knowing about Jesus is more important even than being able to see. And if we don't remember to believe in Jesus, we might hide all the time. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Yeah, we might. Well, I have a fun song to go with our memory verse, one we don't use very often. So let's see if we can sing it. We walk by faith and not by sight. Hoorah, hoorah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Hoorah, hoorah. We walk by faith, we walk by faith, we walk by faith, we walk by faith. Second Corinthians 5 and verse 7. Yeah, kind of like that one. Anna, do you have a song for us today? Gonk. No. No. Oh. Pork, mm, pork, pork. Oh, Porky, do you have a good song for us today? Pork, pork, pork. Ooh, Porky pork, even pork, has pork. a visual aid. He has a world. Do you want... He's got the whole world in his hands, Porky. Work, work, work. Well, that's a really good song for our memory verse, isn't it? Because if you remember God is in charge, then we'll be brave. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, are you, are you ready, Garrett? Okay. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the teeny little babies in his hands. He's got the teeny little babies in his hands. He's got the little little babies in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Chitter wants a verse for the puppets. Oh, oh, for, for the animals, for the animals, not for the puppets. They're not puppets. Animals. Okay, Chitter, we can try that. He's got the oh, chipmunks, porcupines, and ferrets. In his hands, he's got the chipmunks, porcupines, and ferrets. In his hands, he's got the chipmunks, porcupines, and ferrets. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Faster. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Okay. 
We've been doing stories of amazing things Jesus has been has done. He healed a whole lot of people. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Yeah, I don't want to try to list them. It was, it was, it was a lot. And then two weeks ago, he calmed a storm just by telling it to stop. And last week, he fed 5,000 men plus women and children with five little loaves of bread and two fish. Well, our story today takes place right after that. And Jesus had had a very, very long day. He had found out at the beginning of it that his, his friend John the Baptist had died. And he'd been very sad, and he wanted to be alone with his disciples. But the people had found him, and Jesus felt sorry for the people. So he taught them, and he healed them all day long. And then he fed them. That was the story last week. And at the end of that, he was pretty tired. And that's where our story starts. So right away, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and told them to go ahead of him to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Then he sent the crowd away. Yep, sent the crowd home. It's time for them to go home. And after he'd sent them away, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, praying and praying. The boat was already a long way away from land, and it was being pounded by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Those disciples, they're trying to sail across the sea, and it's not working very well. It is too windy. Very early in the morning, probably while it was dark and kind of spooky out there, Jesus went out to the disciples, and he walked on the lake. Chitter! Chitter, chitter, chitter! Yeah, he was walking on top of the water. Can you do that, chitter? Chitter, 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 chitter! I can't either. He was just walking on top of the water. Now, when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. They said, Chatter, chatter, chatter. It's a ghost. Because it was dark and spooky out there and there was somebody walking on the water. I would have thought it was a ghost too. And they cried out in fear. Forky. Yeah, they were scared. Right away, Jesus called out to them. Gong, 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 gong. Be brave. Oh, yeah, be brave. It is I. Don't be afraid. Chitter, chitter. Yeah, he's telling them to be brave. Well, Peter asked him. Forky, 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 forky. Lord, is it you? And he said, Come on, we're poor. Oh, sorry, that's Peter. My apologies. And Peter said, Forky, pork, pork, porky. If it is, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, Come. Come. So Peter got out of the boat, and he started to walk on the water towards Jesus. Chitter, 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 chitter. Yeah, he was being very brave. He was walking right on top of the water. But then Peter saw the wind and the waves, and he started to be afraid, and he began to sink. He cried out, Porky! Lord, save me! Right away, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Jesus said, Gong, 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 gong. Your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those in the boat worshipped Jesus, and they said, Chatter, 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 chatter. You really are the Son of God. He could walk on the water, and he made that storm stop again. They crossed over the lake and landed in the area over there. And the people, they found out about it, and they brought him more people to heal and more people to teach. But that was kind of Jesus' job right then. Chitter, 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 chitter. Yeah, that was amazing. Jesus just walked on the water. Jesus could kind of do whatever he wanted, couldn't he? Chitter, chitter, chitter. And he even made Peter walk on the water until, until Peter started being scared. Chitter, 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 chitter. Well, do any of you have any questions? Go, 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 go. Oh. Garrett says, if Jesus could walk on the water, why didn't he just do that all the time? Why did they even need to use a boat? Is that, is that your question, Garrett? Go. Hmm, well, let me think about the answer to that. Chitter! Chitter, chitter, chitter! Chitter says we should ask Mr. Kevin for the answer. Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter thinks he'll have a good answer. You know what, Chitter? You are right. Mr. Kevin is a lot of fun and very good at answering questions. So let's go ask him, and then we'll come back and do our craft. Gong! Gong, gong! What? Who's gonk. there? Who's there? Oh, Porky, is that you? Gong. Porky? Gonk. Oh, wait. That doesn't sound like Porky. Gong, 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 gong. Oh, sounds like you, Garrett. 
Is that, is that, I can't tell, is that you? I Gonk. Gonk. Gary thinks you should put your glasses on. <gasps> my glasses! I forgot my glasses! I'll be right back. Has anybody seen my glasses? Where are my glasses? No, no, Gary. Not your computer. No, Garrett! Not your computer. Are those my glasses? Ah, there they are! Gonk. I found them, Garrett! Gonk? Gonk? Hang on! Gonk! Gonk. Gonk. Gonk? Oh, I found them! I found my... Oh, Garrett, it is you! I can see you now! Gonk! Yeah, that's great! Oh, look, I can read my... I can read the Bible. Wow, it has words. Cool. And the computer. These glasses are great. Gonk. Gonk, 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 gonk. Yeah? So Gary says that our memory verse was we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, that's very true. Faith helps us to see what God wants us to do, just like glasses help us to see what we're looking at. Like, gonk. Garrett, I can see Garrett. Oh, and kids. Hi, kids. Good to see you all. Gonk, 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 gonk. So Garrett also says, well, this is his question, um, if, if Jesus could walk on water, why did he need boats? Why couldn't he just walk on water all the time? Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting question, Garrett. Wow. Why did Jesus ride in boats and not just always walk on the water? Well, I guess maybe the first reason could be um, maybe if he walked on the water all the time, maybe his legs would get tired. You know, that'd be a long walk. The Sea of Galilee was pretty big. It'd be a few miles to go across it. His legs would get tired. I know if I had to walk everywhere, you know, on the water and couldn't ride in a boat, my legs would get tired. My legs would... Oh! What? Conk! Ah! Garrett, I don't have any legs! Conk! Ah! Where are my legs? I've got to find my legs. I'll, I'll find them later. I've got my glasses on now. I'll be able to see them if they walk by. Yeah. Uh, another reason, Garrett, was uh, Jesus liked to do things in the normal ways whenever he could. So most of the time he just did normal stuff, you know, like eat regular food with everybody. But sometimes when people needed it, he made there be more food. He would use God's power for that to help other people. And sometimes Jesus healed people, used God's power for that. They needed special help. But he didn't usually use God's power to just help himself. Not very often. And maybe maybe just when he walked across the water that time. And that might have been mostly to teach his disciples about faith, about trusting God, that God can do amazing things. Because we walk by faith, not by sight. Gonk. Even when we ride in boats. Gonk. Yeah. That was a great question, Garrett. Alright, I'll see you later. I'll get back to work here. Bye, kids. Gonk. Okay. And Anna is now going to come demonstrate the craft. Let me swim back here so they can see it. These are tin can stilts, and you can't see it because I can't get everything in the camera, but she's actually taller than I am right now. Um, what we did was we took some cans. I think these had formula in them. You can also use coffee cans. And Anna helped me. We used a hammer and a nail to put holes in the sides. You can do strings. I used some old telephone cord because I had it. And make the strings about waist high. You can print from online the memory verse on some papers that we walk by faith not by sight. And color it and tape it on if you want. But you don't have to. And then you just stand on them. I recommend with shoes but Anna has buff feet. so. And then you can walk around in them and be taller than you were. It's just kind of fun. All right, you want to walk back off? Back. She hasn't gotten to practice very long yet. <laughs>